Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rita. If you are new here for the very first time, I would really appreciate it if you decide to subscribe to my channel. All you need to do is hit this little red button that says subscribe and be also sure to hit the bell so you'll get notified every time that I post. So for today, we're gonna have my very first purse of the year. So this year, I don't want to say I'm in a low buy per se, but I'm trying to step down a little bit and give a little more thought to my purchases, especially bags. I feel like last year, it was like the year for me to purchase a lot of handbags. It was just a lot that I really, really liked. I just said that I was trying to think a little bit more about, you know, before a purchase, but in general, I always wait and I'm always sure of a purchase before I do it. So it's really more I'm trying to stop myself from buying as many as I did last year. That's really what it, it is. So whenever I saw this bag online, I thought it was absolutely beautiful. And it was something that I actually think that my wardrobe was missing. So I do own a couple of other pink bags, but not this specific pink that I was really, really wanting to have for the spring. The bag we're gonna be talking about will be the Kate Spade Not Medium Crossbody Tote. So this one is one of their newest releases. I believe this was introduced maybe around January, something, some, somewhere around those dates. And they came out with four different shades. So a black, the pink that I got, a more beige of white that's also very beautiful and a very pretty green that is not something that i would really you know go for i don't really have any green bags except for a backpack but other than that i don't think i would be gravitating towards anything green in my wardrobe in general so anyway let's stop with the blubbering and let's get right into the bag because i am very excited to open it and then see how much i can fit in this it is when i actually opened the box Look at how big it is. It is very big. I was not expecting it to be this big because this is the medium and they also have a large size. So I can't even imagine how big that large one is. So it's gonna be an unboxing, although I already got rid of the box because I didn't wanna keep the box here just making, taking a lot of space underneath my vanity. So I just took out the box and here it is how it came. I haven't opened it. So we're gonna open it together today. So let's first just take out the bag which is something that we don't need and the official name of this bag is gonna be Coral Gable so that's the shade and it is so beautiful I feel oh my god this is so pretty I feel like the shade is stiff well that's very pretty look at that that is a big purse I was not expecting that to be so big um, let me grab my little knife. Got it. I have a little knife with some scissors on the side so we can break everything. So this one retails for $298 US dollars. I did get mine full price. Like I mentioned, I did see it as soon as it was released on the website and I knew that I had to pick it up. I wanted to get this purse for spring so I didn't want to wait for a sale. Kate Spade does have a lot of sales very frequently so that is something that you can probably look for but I believe that whenever this bag there's like the big strap whenever this bag was released I think that it's already like Kate Spade has already had sales and I haven't seen this one on sale even though there's already been a sale but anyway I'm gonna go ahead and take everything out because it looks like I'm struggling a little bit and I want to kind of like just rip everything apart and then I'll be right back, back to show you now it back. took me a hot minute to take everything out of the bag the way it was packaged so here it is let me show you a bit of a closer look it is this beautiful vibrant pink I feel like it is between a baby pink and a more vibrant pink it is super beautiful in person but anyway uh, let's take a look at the bag it does have the Kate Spade logo here in the center very small so if you're someone who doesn't like a lot of logos or monogramming or you know any branding on your bag I think this would be a good way to go because it is very small if you know or you're familiar with the brand, you'll probably be able to identify it pretty fast whenever you see the gold uh, hardware right there. But if you are not really into bags, it's just a beautiful bag that you can barely see any kind of signs of branding, which I know a lot of people really love that. 
Then it comes with two, uh, two straps that are going to be handheld. So you can just carry your bag in the nook of your arm, which is what I like to do the most. But then it also comes with a big strap, like a long strap that you can use crossbody or on your shoulder. Sadly, this bag comes with no feet. I've mentioned this many times before in my channel, every time I'm talking about a bag, I really like whenever bags come with feet. And I am very surprised because Kate Spade usually always comes with uh, feet on the bottom of bags. Whenever you have a bag that's like this, just touching everything where you sit it, it can get very dirty or damage the leather, le the leather very easily. So that kind of like bothers me a little bit, especially for the price point. I know it's not like a super expensive bag, but it's still a retail Kate Spade bag. So I was definitely expecting it to have the gold feet that it usually get, even whenever you buy Kate Spade from the outlet. The bag does have three uh, sides. So you have one right here, then you have the middle one, which has also a little bag, a little kind of like envelope kind uh, baggie right there and then you have a third compartment so technically you get three compartments and then on this compartment you do have a little uh, card holder so you can always put a card in there personally I wouldn't do that because that side is open to you know everything so it doesn't have a zipper on this side this bag reminds me and I believe they brought the knot bags to take away the Margot. I'll show you mine in a minute so you can see how the compartments are exactly the same as the Margot, but my Margot has that leather that's very, very hard, very rigid, a super structured bag that you can't kind of like flimps around or like this is like a very soft, soft leather as you can tell. But uh, I'm also gonna go ahead and grab my bag that I'm using right now so you can stuff this one. I feel like there's going to be so much that you can put inside of this bag. Look at all that space. You have the beautiful knot right here, which is just very delicate, but I feel like it gives the bag such a beautiful distinction and just a little something to make it just a bit more, I don't know, like a little more put together with that very delicate uh little knot. I do want to mention that the middle section does come with a zipper so that's gonna be very convenient. You can just put there like your more valuable items, maybe your wallet, your card holder, your cell phone. You do have a lot of space even though it's the smallest compartment in the bag. It is still pretty big and you can secure it by just uh, sipping it up. I want to show you real quick the Margot bag which this one is also in the medium size. So whenever this bag was still around, there was a Margot in the large, medium, and small. As opposed to the new not medium, it's only medium and large that you can get. So let me show them to you side by side so you can kind of like see. And maybe if you have this one, you can compare sizes. So they look pretty similar, you know, from the front, like size-wise. But then whenever you turn them around, you can see the significant difference. This one is slightly bigger, you know, width-wise comparing it to the Margot. But the structure is going to be pretty similar since they both have three compartments having one in the middle with a zipper. This one has the zipper taller and the, the knot has the zipper in the very bottom so you can't really see whenever you're carrying the bag like this. As opposed to the Margot where you can see that the zipper is right there on the very top. I am going to try to fit as much as I can in this bag since it's technically a little bit bigger than the ones that I usually carry around. This is extremely packed. It is super heavy. It has a ton of things. And because the bag is so flexible, you can really put in a lot of things and it won't lose its like shape. Of course, it is going to lose its shape because it's going to look a little awkward like that. But I still feel like it looks very beautiful. But what I meant is not going to lose its shape. It's not going to like fall off. Some bags, I feel like whenever they're too loose, they can just kind of like wobble all over the place, but not this one. So I do like that. So let me show you. That is, like I mentioned, a lot of things. I packed this bag as much as I could. So here we have the uh, umbrella, which is a medium-sized umbrella. It's not super tiny. There are smaller ones that you can buy. And that just fits very comfortable here in the corner. And although you can still see it, you know, whenever you're carrying your bag, I feel like it's not a big deal because it does fit and I wouldn't want to have it like this because it wouldn't fit. So you can definitely carry an umbrella. 
I'm gonna take it away from now. And then here on the very first compartment, we have the mask, the um, little makeup bag, sunglasses, and my lotion all the way down. On the other compartment, we have the reusable baggie in case I go to the store or something, and I just have that in hand. We've got my Kindle, we have the uh, straw, one Germex, and then the other spritz, the hand sanitizer. So we have a lot of things. And finally, in the middle compartment, which has the zipper, I have my phone. And then you can see down there the card holder. The pen is right here. And then my keys, which is a pretty big pouch. You can see how big that is. And then lastly, my Kleenex bag. So this bag can fit a ton of things. The bag does have two magnets here and then here. So you can just semi-close your bag. Very easily to pop open, of course. It's not gonna be like for security, but at least you can close it. That's gonna be everything for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. And let me know in the comments down below if this beautiful bag is on your wish list. And maybe if you have this bag on your wish list, what color would you be going for? I am definitely loving this pink. I think this is going to be the only one I get from the Knot collection because I feel like the other ones, I've seen them in store and they're just a little too, a little too rigid for my liking. That's why I really love this one whenever I saw it online because I could tell that it was going to be a different leather that was going to be so much more softer. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, like always, please give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.